Google Ads versus SEO. Which one should you be using? Uh, which one, which one is better? I mean, there's a million different questions that most people have when they take a look at Google Ads versus SEO. But I'm going to kind of break things down for you <clears throat> and just give you a sense of what the overarching you know, 500 foot view approach is for each one and when you would use each one and the benefits to each one. That way you can make a decision based on where you're at in your business about whether you want to start with Google Ads or SEO or a combination of the two. So if you're not already familiar, Google Ads are basically just these, well, Google Ads is a general, Google Ads is like a platform now, but um, on the Google Ads platform, there's many different types of ads you can run. You can run YouTube ads, you can run display ads, like the ones that show up on banners on the sides of websites. But the majority of the ads that people run on Google Ads are search ads, which are these here that show up when somebody conducts a search on Google. So typically when we say Google Ads, this is what we're talking about, unless we clarify. So these ads here that have a little ad icon next to them, people are paying each time somebody clicks on one of these ads, right? Now, the nice thing is it's pay per click. So if this ad shows up here and I don't click on it, then this advertiser does not get charged for this ad. So the cool thing with, with uh, Google ads, at least search ads, is you're paying for the click. So you're only paying when you're getting actual visitors to your website. And if your keywords, if you're using the correct keywords and you have good ads and copy and landing pages and everything, uh, you should be able to convert people at you know a, a pretty high rate and see a decent return on your investment from Google Ads. Now, the thing is, you're paying for each of these clicks on here, right? So, if let's just say you start getting some good results and you want to double the results, well, then you have to put twice as much money into the ad spend budget. And at a certain point, you know, when you're spending $10,000, $20,000, $30,000 a month on Google Ads, you're like, man, there's got to be a better way to get this traffic. And that is oftentimes when um, SEO is really, really effective. So SEO, you know, basically you're just doing the same thing. It's the same approach. You're having your website show up when somebody's conducting a specific search the only difference is it's showing up organically and so you don't have to pay for the clicks and so that makes it much more scalable and you can get a much higher return on your investment because you're not having to pay for each one of those clicks so for instance let's say this is your site down here you're ranked what is this position three and you're getting decent traffic but your SEO kicks in and you jump up to position one and your traffic increases by 4x. Well, you don't necessarily have to pay more for each of those clicks, right? Because you're just paying to have SEO done to get your website moved up to the top. Now, the disadvantage is this takes a long time. Like to move a site from position three all the way up to position one could take many, many months. And most people don't have months <laughs> to sit around and wait for their marketing to kick in. So what we found works really, really well uh, over the years here at Missoula SEO Geek is to do a combination of the two. So we'll start out with a Google Ads campaign and we'll start running that while we're working on rebuilding the website, getting it all dialed in before we even start the SEO phase of things. So we'll start running the Google Ads. That's going to get some immediate traffic and business coming in. It's also going to give you some intelligence about like what keywords are actually getting you good results. Because you might find that a certain term is getting you, you know, like for instance, Phoenix Auto Detailing. You find that you're getting a lot of leads from this term, but it's not getting any sales. Whereas Phoenix Mobile Auto Detailing, which is where the, the detailer shows up at the person's location, maybe that's getting a ton of sales and the leads are a little bit more expensive. But, you know, ultimately that's going to be the direction that you want to go in. And so you can figure that out while you're running ads and then realize, oh, okay, let's promote the mobile detailing really heavily on the website rather than spending a bunch of time and energy trying to rank for this term. So they actually kind of complement each other in a sense. You can use the Google Ads to gain intelligence, gain some immediate business, some revenue coming in right away. Oftentimes that will then pay for the SEO portion of things. 
Um, so, you know, it's basically paying for itself, at least with our clients, that's typically how it works. So we get somebody set up, they're making some money on the Google ads that then pays for the website and the SEO. And then eventually after, you know, many months, <clears throat> we get them ranked organically and they're getting so much traffic organically that oftentimes it doesn't even make sense to continue running the ads. So then you can just shut the ads off, right? So it's sort of like you can use the ads to shortcut getting to the top of the search results, but then use the SEO on the back end to get there organically and then you don't need the ads. And the reason is because only about 30% of the clicks go to the ads. The rest of the clicks go to these organic search results down here. And so if you're just relying on the ads, you're already, you know, <laughs> you're, all, you're, you're only giving yourself like a third of the potential traffic that you could be getting if you were using ads and SEO. So ads will tend to be pretty limited. They're expensive because you have to pay for each individual click, whereas you don't have to do that with SEO, but they're really fast acting. So given all that information, you can kind of make a judgment call about what you want to do based on where you're at in your business. If you do have any questions though, uh, you can just drop them in the comment section below and I'll respond there. We can chat about your specific situation and, you know, what what might be beneficial for you. And, uh, yeah, I hope you find it helpful. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google Ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Uh, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google ads for different companies and in different industries and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue like this one here and really just see that, you know, this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth. So feel free to reach out. You can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you.